Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. Yes, we are. Uh, it's Monday morning. We're honestly having a little bit of a hard time getting going. It's so Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's we got a case of the Mondays. Case of the Mondays. Uh, yesterday we went to Kansas City to get Donna's mom and drove back. I mean, it was like seven hours of driving, and and then we did a live, which was a lot, a lot of fun. Which brings us to like our topic for today. Yes. Today we're going to discuss the different ways of reselling and what people should or shouldn't do and what our thoughts are on we that kind of stuff. We had a question last night in the live. Somebody said, how do you know which reseller to listen to because everybody's telling you a different way to do things? Yeah, they basically said, I'm a new reseller and all these YouTube people um do things differently and give different advice. So what should we know what to do? And we're going to touch on that today and just talk about that a little bit as we pull orders. But we do have 25 things to pull, so we need to get started picking those items. What's first? All right, first up is golf club. Golf club. Whoosh. This came, <laughs> this came from that buy where we bought a golf set and the irons sold for $350. It's a King Cobra S91 and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Where's it going? That golf club is going to Wisconsin. And so that basically wraps up that golf buy. I uh, paid $100 and that golf $400 <laughs> we sold the irons and the driver for. And then the bag and putter on dollar auction, we sold for like three bucks or something. So basically $400 off that hundred dollar buy. So that was a good one. All right, next up, Donna, this one's gonna be a fun one for you in box 14. 14, it's in here. I think it's right there on top. Nope, nope. <gasps> Pebbles! There How many go. 80s kids do we have? This is a vintage Popple Rockstar 10 inch uh, Popple right there. Yes, and he is sold for $20. Donna got it for a dollar to garage sale. Yes, sir. And it's going to Florida. Nice. We have two items from the upstairs, the books buyout uh, today. And this one, this is a DVD and we took an offer for it for $7. I and took the offer. Steve wanted to counter, but I didn't know that. That's so. all right. That's going to Ohio. So Ohio? that's shipping out. And then the other thing is the last of these hardback Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man books. And this last one sold for $17.50. And, oh, and it's going to Florida as well. Okay. Next up in box 94. 94. This is something we just bought uh, two weeks ago and it's old. It's the little watch. Remember we pulled it incorrectly the other day. All right, in the gray bag right there. This is a Garmin watch. It was really kind of dirty and nasty at a garage sale. We picked it up for $1 and I cleaned it up, tested it out. It works and it sold for $32.19. And that is going to Michigan, which is already colored in. Uh, next up is box LG. Something's been listed for a long time. All right, we're looking for a vintage camping sandwich maker. Oh, right there. Okay. That hasn't been listed for a long time. I just have had it for a long time and didn't list it. Okay. Uh, well, it sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents, and it is going to M E. What's M E? Maine, isn't it? Maine. No, Maine. That's a new one. So we're going to make it yellow. All right. Maine is getting put in. Okay. Here, you film me. <laughs> that was funny. Stop. <laughs> All right. We're going to do one more and then, and then we're going to talk for a few minutes. Uh, next up is my personal item. This signifies the end of an era and I'm totally okay with this. Ooh. This is my personal PS4. Uh, it sat on the shelf under the TV and I uh, never used it for like the last three years. And I thought, it's just, I'm, I'm not going to play anymore. Like I'm not. And so I'm okay with that. $129.99 and it comes with a controller or two or whatever's in the bag, but $129.99. Should, should we play taps or something? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm fine with it. And it's going to Ohio, which is already marked on the board. Okay. Okay. We're just going <laughs> to sit here. 
In the stairs. <laughs> in the stairs. <laughs> okay, so in the video, somebody asked, like we said, uh, I'm a new reseller. How do I know what to, who to listen to and what to follow? Listen to your wife. First of all, listen to your wife. She usually <laughs> is right. That's funny you laugh and you're up against me and so it makes the camera shake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, basically, we, we would say is watch several different people and just kind of take out of it what you want and try it. You have to try things. You have to go out. You have to purchase things. You have to try things. But nobody, no two resellers do things exactly the same. And there's no clear-cut answer. And what works for one may not work for the other. You know, we do things differently as far as our shipping and storage and even our sourcing than some of our favorite YouTubers do. You our know? reselling, especially because we have the dollar auction and other people don't. So we're able to pick up cheaper items. And um, our sourcing, um, we find different items. Like if you were where Harry Tornado and Haley are, you would find a lot of new Patagonia, Patagonia Nike, you know, Lily yeah, Pulitzer, you, all of those types of, of names. And we don't have that here. Yeah, there's not the same... Um, money i guess there's you go to the east coast especially and there's like old money let's take that for example like bearded thrift machine and harry tornado they can go into goodwills and especially goodwill bins and they'll have stuff that didn't even make it to the goodwills so they'll have unopened bags with like a bunch of you know high-end purses and all kinds of stuff like that that in their bins if you go to the bins here which are in omaha that stuff there's nothing that's coming directly from donations it's all and we found that in the different parts of the country like in the midwest you have a lot um, the culture is different i guess and so a lot of things that get to the goodwill bins are really used up yeah you know they're used up as far as like clothes and bags and shoes and things like that so in the midwest like farming area just the midwest in general there's like a more of a mentality of people buy things and they use them until they completely wear out like they don't throw things away <laughs> that you know and and then they hand me down a lot of hand-me-downs yeah and where you know in other areas of the country where there's more money like people honestly throw more things away that are just good and new and whatever so when there's more people yeah, a lot more people per square mile. That's for darn more sure. Money. And so with more people, there's more money and all that. So, you know, you it, And the styles are different. Watching YouTube people, there's a lot of YouTube people you can watch. Um uh, we could name names that could honestly make a living and do by going to Goodwills. Um several of them that we can think of, but we can't do that here. So it all a lot one of the major factors is where are you? What is the opportunities that you have? in front of you because mm -hmm. if you just watch somebody in florida that goes into goodwill and picks up you know thousand dollars worth of stuff for 20 bucks then and you live in north dakota that's probably not going to work the other that's, thing that can affect how well you do or how you run your business is how many people there are is are you a team of two are you by yourself um are you full-time are you part-time you know what's going to work best for you can you pick up the smaller things and move them quickly or you know is it the antiques that you enjoy so it's you know where do you live and what's your your living situation and what do you prefer like what do you find what's your passion some people love to pick up glass and are super good at it like inked picker is amazing glass seller um me not so much <laughs> but you know there's other things that i like to pick up like Popples, <laughs> yeah. you know. And don't get me wrong, and the Goodwills here, there are people here that make money on Goodwills, but from our perspective, doing this full time, it's not. Now, Trap and Thrifts, he's a, a local reseller here. We've met him, and he does, he makes extra money on the side, and he does selling. a lot of clothing. He goes into Plato's Closet and, and Goodwills sells. and stuff. And he or, sells yeah, too. He, he goes into Goodwills and stuff and then sells it in Plato's Closet, and he does mm -hmm. great. He makes extra money doing that. It's just for us, we have to do this on a full-time scale and that's that is not going to support us you, you know, know and then time. some people have an in with you know an estate sale company like we are lucky enough to have um, met a really nice couple who run their own estate sale company and so they've coached us along the way and actually helped us get some clean outs and things like that so we do 
estate sale cleanouts. We do home cleanouts. We do help some of the elderly community if they're deciding to, you know, move or downsize or whatever. So we have that little niche available to us that maybe some others might not. Right. So it just depends on your situation, and each situation is different. That's why reselling is an amazing choice for, you know, a career or a side hustle or whatever because you can you can mold it to whatever you need it to be. Yeah. You know. So there is no right answer. Also, things change. Things change over time, which we'll get into that in just a little bit. Just some uh, things that you're looking for that you think are good deals that change in time. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit, but let's pull some more orders. Okay. All right, we're going to go to box 39 now. And this was just from uh, last week's uh, pickup when we went and picked up the van full of stuff. It's outside. Oh, it's outside. All right. Last week, uh, I think one of the last videos we filmed, we were going to go pick up some stuff that an uh, old geocaching friend had that uh, she just wanted to give us, and this was in there. Donna listed it, and it sold in what? How long? Oh, like five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, and it sold for fourteen fifty, and it is a cross stitch sunset tropical fish cross stitch, and it is going to Oregon, which is already on the board. <laughs> Uh, the next thing actually sold like an hour later, and it was literally like 20 minutes after I listed it. So let me grab that. This is an ergonomic keyboard. It is a Microsoft 4000 version 1, and this sold for $44.99. Picked this up at a garage sale last weekend here in the neighborhood for $5. I cleaned it up good, and it sold right away for $45. And that is going to Las Vegas, Nevada. Do we have Nevada? Oh, that's a new we one. We do not have Nevada. Okay, next up, we picked this up at the garage sale about a month ago. We paid $5 for it, and it is a Mountain Tainsmith? Mountains? Mountain Tainsmith. Mountain Smith. Uh, <laughs> kind of a lunch bag thing, and it sold for $18 plus shipping, and it's going to Arizona. Uh, next up is in box 12. This has been listed for a long time, and it is... Cat's Meow. Yeah, Cat's Meow. meow. Two, two pieces of Cat's Meow, and right there, that's what they look like. And they've been on for a long time, and they sold for $8.96, and they are going to Florida. In the Cat's Meow, can you see the kitty? There's one. There's one. This is the Lighthouse series. Okay, next up we got a couple pipes. So I'm going to grab those. They're actually both in the same box. So that's nice. All right, so we got two pipes. This is the first one. And this one sold for $20 plus shipping. And it is going out to Maryland, which I believe we already colored, right? Mm -hmm. And then the second one right here. This one sold for... $10 plus shipping. It's a Dr. Graybow imported briar. It's got a yellow spade on it. Um, and this one's going to Indiana, which is already on the board. Nice. Next next up is a fun one. We gave one of these away on last night's live. And we sold one of the MREs that we got. We got menu 10 chili and macaroni. This one right here. There it is, chili and macaroni right there. We sold that for $19.99, and it is going to West Virginia. We have some more, so if you'd like to try it for yourself. Yeah, we have three more. Paid 50 cents at garage sale for a bunch of them, and they went really well, and they've been a lot of fun. All right, box CC. And here we have, I gotta make sure we get the right one. 11.97, not that one, but this one. Let's just open, open this up and Donna can show you this. It's a beaded purse. Uh, vintage probably beaded purse, yeah. And that sold for twenty dollars. We got several of these. I think we have one more. Uh, we got one more in this box, <laughs> yeah. And that goes to. Idaho. Should be a new one, right? Nope. No? Oh, yes it is. Yeah, Idaho right there. 
That's a new one. What, are you going to let me color it? She's going to let me mark it? Has she not learned her lesson? There. Oh, oh man. I tried not to do Yeah, I didn't do nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh. I can't color. I actually tried. I was going to make like a little. A bowl in I was going to make a little shop. bitty X. And yeah, don't let me color. All right, let's do one more and then let's just talk about a couple things that have changed over the years since we've been doing this. Uh, box 34. Oh, holy cow, that's a big buck. Heavy box. I almost lost that sucker. Right here. Oh, by the way, let's update. This is the hat that we talked about last time, and it's been on now for two days. And like, uh, if you haven't, if you didn't catch that video, so this hat is super, super rare. We found it at a garage sale, and in really good condition. This hat sells for like $350 to $400, but we don't, we're missing a tag right here. The sports specialties, I think it is, tag is missing. It is dingy. I did not clean it. I didn't mess with it. And it has the end of the uh, strap here is melted, so it doesn't want to snap on the last one. So I disclosed all those things. I turned it on auction, and I did that two days ago. So in two days, we have 21 bids. It's at $51.00. And there's 36 people watching it. So this might be interesting to watch this one end next weekend. So pretty cool find, huh? Okay, but right. the thing anyway, we went after. The thing that did sell <laughs> right there. Tupperware pitcher. Tupperware pitcher got a stay sale for $2.50 and is sold for $10. And it's going to New York. Okay, another thing about reselling that you need to be aware of is what works today may not work later in the future and what worked yesterday may not work today yeah and As me meaning what sells well yeah um we have a few examples of things that you know two three years ago were going crazy okay three years ago during covid four years ago has that been four oh, years puzzles now? were great puzzles were huge sellers and now we go to garage sales and they'll literally have like 50 puzzles for yeah. sale and they want to sell them all for like two three dollars and they're not selling some weight equipments you know workout equipment yeah workout equipment we used to pick up ab rollers we found them quite a bit and they sell really good they still sell but the price has come down yep um, just in a video a few weeks ago, we talked about uh, TI-84 Plus Texas mm -hmm. Instrument Calculators. Mm -hmm. We have one listed for $35 with the cover and, and they everything. they used to sell for like 50-something overnight. Oh, yeah, within a day. Yeah. And it's still sitting. We've only gotten one offer for like $9. Mm -hmm. And it's fine, you know, whatever. Um, what else is... But the abs and flows, Chacos, Hey Dudes. Chacos were hot a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. Now they really softened up. Hey Dudes, they were hot. Funko Pops. Funko Pops. That was a big fad thing a couple years ago. And that's really, that market is really softened. It's really mm -hmm. oversaturated. Uh, just things like that. Like whatever's hot right now. Like when video games, I don't know the video games will like die off, you know, because yeah. They did. It is softer now than it was during COVID because people aren't as home all the time. They were stuck at home with nothing to do. <laughs> but video game, vintage video games, I think, will always be worth uh, money. So you just don't know. So if something's hot, like if something is a fad thing right now, people will tell you, hold on to it. It'll be worth more. And you know what? Sometimes you have to take that uh, gamble. You have to take that risk and decide, do you think this is a fad that's not going to hold up? Or do you think this is something that is going to be worth a lot later? Well, and there's another example. Cryptocurrency. <laughs> that was super, super hot. There's another <laughs> example of um, what works for you may not work for the next person. We are a flip it fast business model. Uh, fast nickel over a slow dime, I think is what you yes. say a lot of times. So we flip it fast. Um, other people will price it high, hang on to it, and eventually they may get that, you know. And this is the way it's been for years and years and years because anybody that's been around a long time like we have knows all about uh, Precious Moments figurines. They were highly sought after. Well, collect, sought, highly, highly sought after collectibles. Yes. Beanie Babies. There was a Beanie Baby craze, which really reminds me of Funko Pops. But Beanie Babies were hot. And now they're not, um, <laughs> no, you know, old not. things like that. You just, you don't know for sure what's going to stick and what's not going to stick. And two, you know, 
the baby boomers are searching for things they had in their childhood, yeah. like Tamagotchis and, you know, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yep. You know, old GI Joe, old Transformers, stuff like that. When mm -hmm. we were kids is big because those people have money now and they want to get back yeah. to their youth or whatever. Yeah. Um, but you just, you don't know which items are going to be worth a lot and which aren't. So, you know, you kind of have to ride the ebbs and flows of the market. And we've done it and everybody's done it where they've held on to something because they think it's going to be worth something. And then it just tanks. I did that. Yeah. And we've done it where we've sold something where we think, you know what? We're going to hit this, strike this iron while it's hot, and it's just gotten hotter. But you just have to kind of decide what's what it's worth to you mm -hmm. and whether or not you think it's going to. It's just kind of like the stock market, honestly, but, kinda. you know, just on a more individual piece-by-piece -piece base. But yep. anyway, so go with your gut a lot of times. and Women's intuition. Women's intuition. Do what your wife says, and you'll <laughs> usually you turn out okay. So, uh, all right, let's pull the rest of these orders. Okay. Grab that box right up on top there. Yeah, that. What is it? Uh, should be a fusible safety box. So it is, yeah, safety switch. Yep, that's what it is. And this was uh, part of our friends that were moving their downsizing. It is a new, just a switch box, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Plus shipping. All right, Donnie, you want to head to the flashlight box? How many? We need two of these. These flashlights have sold really well, so I actually turned offers off on it. There's only four left. There's only four left, so they're listed for $11.99. Now, one of these, I sent an offer, and they took it for $10.99, and that one is going to Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And the other one sold for the $11.99 that they're listed at, and it is going to Rhode Island. Is that new? That is new. Ooh. A new one. Oh, we also have to check that safety box thing. I'll check and see where that goes while you can't while you color Rhode Island since it's gonna take a while. Oh, it's little. Are you gonna color the whole thing right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's Rhode Island. <laughs> oh, that's right. She traces the letters. Uh the safety switch box is going to Texas, so that is already done. All right, next in box 67. This one we got from an air park buyout, which has been a couple years ago. Okay, lovely. This is a Kappa Kappa Gamma glass pitcher. Ooh. Right there. 1983. That, 1983. We got the, uh, sold for $14.99, and it is headed off to Florida. Well, we grab... Uh, there's two clothing items in there. Okay. $6.89 and $8.14. There's a Magellan shirt right there we sold, and that's going to South Carolina, which we already have marked, and this sold for $11.24. And then this is a pair of Columbia pants, sold for $10.34, and it is going to California. Okay. All right, we got like three things left, Donna. Okay. Shelf. Shelf. BV Garage Sale. I don't know what BV stands Bella for. Bella Vista. Bella Vista. All right. This is a, the mirror. All right. This Donna sold for $21. It's a frame, not a mirror. It's a frame, picture frame. Uh, Art Deco wood swing swivel picture frame. Mm -hmm. Right there. $21. And that is going to Connecticut. Have we done Connecticut? I think so. Two more things. Number one, box 51. And they're both Donna things. She listed both these items. So Donna she gets the glory. Things. Donna things. Oh, are you doing over there? Are you bring? Yeah, yeah, here you go. <clears throat> this is 10 boxes of jumbo oil pens. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Jumbo oil pastels. Oil pastels. Okay, 10 boxes of these right here, and they sold for $20, and they are going to Ohio. We're headed to box 96. 96. This one is a very cool sale. Just picked it up last week, I think, or oh actually goodness, the weekend before. This one's heavy. <clears throat> and right there, Amber Glass Bird. We'll take that out and take a look at it. 
There she is. All right, look at that beauty. And I'm, when I looked them up, there are several that are different heights. Um, some are nine, and how? And some are six. Some are twelve. How tall was this one? Nine point five inch. So nine point five inch. Sold for sixty four ninety nine. Isn't she pretty? And so it's like, how are you going to ship that? Because if it ends up upside down, certainly you're going to break the tail. Well, look at this. Got me a tube, a pool noodle. And so I'll take cut the pool noodle and I'll have this all protected inside that pool noodle um, that will make it. And I'll have it nice and firm and stiff inside a box so it can't shake around and stuff. But it'll get there very protected and very safely. Nice. And so I think that's the last thing, but that's going to Virginia. That's which a new one. Is a new one. Okay, what color? Oh, what color? It's like purple? I think it's got to be purple. Got to be purple? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Donna, do your coloring. And while she colors those, I'll just mention to you. So as far as the what to do, what to resell, there's no answer. A lot of these people, there's a lot of people on YouTube that will claim to have all the answers. There, okay, let me take that back. There's some people on YouTube that will claim to have all the answers. Most people on YouTube will be the first ones to tell you that, uh, they don't know what you should do because they just try to do what they can do and it varies so much for everybody. I think what he's trying to say is we all just offer suggestions about what works yeah. for us and you have to glean and take what you want your business to look like and what works for you and feel free to try and say nope or try and say yep I like that and you know you got to find what works for you. So we're just trying to throw suggestions out there for all of you. Yeah, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just try different things and find something that works for you and go with it. And then as you find something that works, do that repetitively, repeatedly, and then try new things on top of that. So um, good luck to anybody that's new. This is something that you can do. Anybody can do this. Uh, and it can be very successful if you just keep pushing and keep trying. So, all right, let's check out Donna's coloring job and wrap this baby up. All right, there's the updated board. Look, we got this filled in. We got Virginia here. Don't forget Rhode Island. Oh, we didn't do Maine. Didn't do Maine. Oh, we gotta hit Maine up there. Isn't Maine where Mo is at? I believe Mo is in Maine. If my memory serves me well, but my memory usually fails me. So we think that's Mo's area. All right, now that's the updated board. We have all the four corners covered mm -hmm. and we gotta get Alaska yet. All right, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're not sure what the videos are gonna look like this week. Donna's mom is here. Mom is here. And they're going to be traveling Wednesday night until late Friday night. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I might wear a GoPro out garage sale. You might take a nap, you might be working. Oh, I'm sure you it'll be a be. nap somewhere. <laughs> um, but we do still have, still have the bins from Bella Vista. I'm hoping to get that video put together and out in the next couple days, uh, but I don't know. We'll see what happens next, yes. but you'll you'll we'll definitely tell you about it and you'll see it. So uh thanks everybody for watching. Like and subscribe, share with your friends. Yeah, we appreciate all of you. We got seven, nine. We got nine new subscribers, new subscribers last, last night. night. So thank you guys. Share with your friends if you like the content. We're trying to get to two thousand. Our friends just made it to three thousand. Yeah. So and we had a lot of we've had a lot of comments and questions lately and we do want to do we do want to do a video going over some of those. We're like, going to answer about some your questions. So, yeah, we love all the comments lately. It's been fun. Yes. Anyway, we are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.